So there was this pretty confusing article published by Porsche that has made some headlines. The article was mostly about regen braking, and it was pretty basic and dry. But there was one paragraph where there was a bit of mm, confusion, confusion. or uh, controversy. controversy. Well, didn't they say that one pedal driving is inefficient? Well, here's the quote. Porsche, on the other hand, makes use of coasting, which is the more natural process of allowing the vehicle to continue to roll unpowered. Recuperation only starts when the brake pedal is stepped on. This is a more efficient way of driving because it keeps the kinetic energy in the vehicle, says Martin Reinecker, senior manager of chassis testing at Porsche Engineering. One pedal driving, on the other hand, recuperates first and only then converts the recovered energy back into propulsion. That results in twice the losses. So he's not saying there's a problem with regen braking, but he's saying that one pedal driving results in twice the losses. So in an extreme case... He's technically correct, which, of course, is the best kind of correct. OK, then. I now declare this meeting of being in the right club officially open. Um, if you drove your car in the exact way that you would drive a car without one pedal driving, which is taking your foot off of the accelerator every time you were done accelerating, then, yeah, you could have twice the losses because essentially the car would be accelerating and then ooh, slowing down and then accelerating and then slowing down, which is not but, that efficient. But no one drives their EVs like that. Right. You sort of balance your foot to keep the car going the speed that you want. And that means that the car is coasting because you're balancing you know, whether it's accelerating or deaccelerating. However, I will say that in order to keep the pedal responsive in that like, oh, I'm going to push it a little bit further and my car will accelerate a little bit more. There's not much of a dead zone. Mm -hmm. So there isn't like this spot where you're like, nothing's happening here. My car is just coasting. And so that means that you're probably wasting a little bit of energy here or there, but it's very, very slight. OK, but Porsche is going to not do one pedal driving for that reason. <laughs> I don't think that that's the reason. I okay. think that that's the justification. I'm guessing it has to do with slowing down EV adoption. Because once you get used to one pedal driving, never go back. most people can't really go back. Yeah, I mean, there's a whole safety thing that they're ignoring. Right. If you have a car that naturally slows down as soon as it stops getting driver input and then comes to a stop within a reasonable period of time, that's pretty safe um, as compared to a car that's just going to keep zooming right on down the road. But again, this article wasn't really about one pedal driving. So, I mean, if Martin wants to come on our show and debate us, that would be fun. But I think we'd probably come to an agreement pretty quickly. I don't think that it really makes sense to dig into this point much. A lot of people wanted to really talk about it and and get into it. It doesn't really matter the total efficiency of whether or not you use one pedal driving. At the end of the day, everyone's going to pick it because it's really, really nice. Yeah. I mean, if you try and go back to a gas car after you've driven an EV, it just feels like a horse and buggy. It's like, yeah. what am I doing? Yeah. Hey, everybody. Thanks so much for watching Now You Know Clips. You can watch full episodes of Tesla Time News on Tuesdays and in-depths on Fridays. Just click the link down below and head over to the Now You Know channel.